our second last stop on the top 10 wildflower hotspots in WA's Australian Golden Outback and Australia's Coral Coast. Well, it's this beautiful little town. I just love it. It's called Karoo. The people here really love their wildflowers. The town was gazetted in 1893, but Aboriginal people have been living in this area for thousands of years. Now, the town's meant to have got its name from the local Aboriginal language, and it could have been one of two things, either the land of many mists or named after Karo, which is a type of plant, a type of portulaca that was an important food source, and mainly because it's such a high source of omega-3 fatty acids. It's a very pretty little town, and the pub is an absolute standout. We, of course, are looking for wildflowers, and in this town, they do things a little creatively with a destination just one kilometre out of town that's completely unique. The wildflowers here can be found surrounding a patch of farmland known as the Community Farm, which, as the name suggests, is a real labour of love for all the local residents. What's going on here is truly fantastic. The Karoo Community Farm is raising funds to support development of the town, doing all sorts of positive things to help the community. At the same time, the juxtaposition of a farming environment right alongside a natural environment like this. They really do love the natural environment here. They've been able to keep all these wildflowers. They're growing all around the outside of the hill and it gives you a wonderful trail to come through and see what the local indigenous floral species are and how they actually grow. It's incredible. You know what? There really is gold at the end of that rainbow. Those hills behind me are a great place for a stroll and they're covered with wildflowers. But in all honesty, if you'd prefer to stay on flat ground, you can drive your car around the track and jump out to investigate as you go. Plant highlights here are definitely the terrestrial orchids. Get a load of these stunning donkey orchids. They're absolutely beautiful. Now, to help you find these as you're walking the trail, the locals have marked each location with a pink ribbon. It just helps you know exactly where to stop and have a look around. They are absolutely beautiful. Other plants you want to look out for, well, up on the hill, the everlasting displays are sensational. And down around the base, the grevilleas are fabulous. And grevilleas are such an important plant when it comes to birds. They're a very, very high source of nectar. So honeybees and local honey eaters absolutely love them. Well, this is the last stop. I'm heading towards Delwallanu. It is a beautiful little country town at the best of times, but this time of the year, it is ablaze with the most amazing display of stunning West Australian terrestrial ground orchids. I can't wait to see them. It's about an hour's drive southeast of Karoo, and the drive along the way is spectacular. So make sure you take some time out, take it nice and steady, soak up the scenery, and enjoy it.